Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds, too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind, now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. Bond Street. So, it's on your platform. Thank you. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are the most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life, with a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Care for the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Uh, I need a favour. 
I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <sighs> okay, he doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <sighs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <sighs> okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in a Maserati. That was rash. How much is the bet for? A grand. A grand? <sighs> a hundred of it is yours, if you let me have those keys. 200. Okay. 300. But it... You said 200 way too quickly. Look, would you rather be 700 up or a grand down? I'm trusting you, yeah? It's not free. 200 in cash tonight. In cash tonight. I'm good for it. Oh, fuck. What? It's nothing. Not a scratch, not a stain, nothing, all right? You fiddle with your lipstick outside of the car and you wipe your shoes before you get in. Anything else? Yeah, you're back here by one, not a minute later. Yes, sir. What do you want from me? I want you to tie her up. <laughs> Get out! Oh. Sorry. You open it up. She goes inside. Get out of your fucking mind! <laughs> <laughs> Right, now you get in the car. Wait, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're gonna do.
I'm going now, right? You stay right where you are. No, no, no. I'm a fucking student, okay? I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You're done now. Get in the house. Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive it? Cause you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice bowl? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. You need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. You stay where you are. Look, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. That still leaves lots of painful options. Not good at maths, are you, mate? What's that supposed to mean? Minus one, plus one. I mean zero. Yeah, zero problems. Look, you need someone to help you out. And I need someone not to stick a fucking syringe in me. Why on earth would I trust you? Because you don't have a choice. Just like I don't. <sighs> See your point. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. What about the money? Don't push your luck. I'm taking his risk, so I want his share. Fuck off. Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. OK, I'll tell you what, you two split 50-50, that's the deal. Done. You can't do this. It's done. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. <laughs> I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when they're far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. 
peaceful in themselves now. A crime's still a crime. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. Nine fifty to my left. Do I hear nine sixty? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine fifty once. Nine fifty twice. So for nine hundred and fifty thousand pounds. This marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is grand for its time. Just Thank try to keep it powder dry. Eh? I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. I'm sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? And so we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tramp. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces remaining yes. examples okay, great. of a red the phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Shit, yeah, you can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank you, sale price, don't on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you. Stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Lots are not good. Nine I'm looking for. Price increases are logarithmic. All around the room. Even zero. Nine million to you, sir. Thank you very much. Nine million. Do I hear nine five? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine five. 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 Nine your problem. Well, no, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you stopped my bidding. So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? You did well, stopping mailing like that. 
Then I've gone into her. Follow me. She seems to like the rush. You don't say. Okay, the assistant's packing up. You've got to move right now. Wait here. When Simon gives the word, move out to the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, where's the guard's image? He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Yeah, ready. Go. Alert the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance. Right there, Shepard. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Fucked up mind. But if you were capable of reading me, you'd realize that all I'm trying to do is assess the consequences of the crime, okay? Give yourself a break. Sometimes life takes an unplanned turn. You just have to roll with it.
nothing there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bolt. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place and he turns it into money. You're too fucking right. You want to take a left? Some shortage high street. Hong Kong City restaurant. It sounds classy. What are we going to do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Hey, that's not what we agreed. Not here, just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mei Ling. Mei Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. Come on. to finish what you started. It's Mr. Wu's. Yeah, well, that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling! Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, OK? You have to do something. Oh, look, come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go. Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four? Four on me, please. It's going well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Four on me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, it's Mr. Wu here. Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, 
or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, right here. Have fortune cookie. Fuck fortune cookies. Hey, I like them. These two. I told them to wait. What makes you believe you can just walk in here? Hola, hola. Would you want me to go into your home? Just like that? Huh? Come through. What's your business? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made a deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you a ball. My ball? Adam, turn by Asia over here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Managing to steal that ball is quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place it's nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness. It is also suicide. To the Choi family, possession of that ball is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! If you know how much they paid, then you know your 20% is a lot higher than you thought it would be. You want us out of here because you don't want to pay what you promised. I did not order its theft. The only order I am giving is to you. Get out of my restaurant! What should we do with her? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atam! Go on, coordinate, hoi! Goodbye. We will not meet again. Choice. How dangerous they are. You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. Okay. Okay, let's go.
Did you believe Wade? They knew nothing about the job. You looked convincing, didn't you? Yeah, that's not what I asked you. No, I didn't watch this conversation, mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for 20% job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath. Shit. What? There's no bath. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, could you? Why did you do that? Because I felt like it. No time for love, Dr. Jones. Only one item was stolen from the auction house, a Chinese porcelain Mate, it's bowl, us. which had just been auctioned for the reported value of 10 million pounds. The criminals left the location in two high-performance sports cars and subsequently disappeared. Though an explosion involving a third vehicle, which occurred 20 minutes later, beneath this flyover near Shepherd's Bush, is also thought to be linked to the robbery. How the hell do they know that? An explosion which completely destroyed the vehicle, its contents... The choice will believe the ball's history. Your choice of words. I am deeply, deeply devastated by this event. If the bowl was indeed destroyed, then it is a loss to mankind which transcends value. Oh, yeah. How very compassionate of him. That this robbery may also be linked to the murder of Anthony Wu, a Chinese restaurant owner with known connections to the criminal underworld whose body was found at... Fucking hell. Wu was right about the choice. That's for fucking sure. Why? What's wrong? Nothing. We got him killed. And we're next. We need to get out of the city. Hello? Mr. Smith? Yep? I have some people in the reception. Shall I send them up? There's someone downstairs. Life. The one thing! Why would you do that? It's total madness, tell me why! Because it was a fake. I'm sorry, what? The ball was fake. Then where's the real one? I don't know. Then how did you know it was a fake? Trade it for our lives. 
because I need your help to get him. Please, you have to trust me. Trust you? Oh, I'm sorry, am I hearing you right now? Okay. Okay, but these are my conditions. Firstly, you tell me everything you know. The whole story. And if I find out you've left out even the slightest detail, I am fucking gone. Secondly, from now on, we do things my way. Okay, I make the decisions and you agree with them. Agreed. Correct answer. Now start talking. I needed the money. Yeah, don't we all? Who paid you? Samuel Ha. Wait, the guy who was selling the lot? He couldn't part with it, but he knew the choice would never let him keep it. So he had you forge a copy to sell to the choice? To keep for himself. He didn't believe that note, did you? I believe in the good in people. Oh, don't give me this bullshit. Where's the original now? I don't know. Oh, come on, mate. What do you take me for? I only realized at the hotel we stole the copy. I didn't know the two jobs were connected. People died. People died because you didn't know the two jobs were connected. That's not fair. Look, stop whining and start fucking thinking. Where is the bloody rice bowl? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't want to make the wrong decision. I don't want anyone else to die. But we have to get the ball back to the choice or this will just go on. Look. Are you really up to doing this? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's find a solution out of this mess, shall we? Together. Let's start with what we know. I can see that Palm must somehow be involved. But why the theft if he could just sell the copy? He couldn't just sell it. At Hainsworth, they would have found out. Look, you can paint it perfectly you like, but you just can't fake the age of porcelain. Dating is based on an effect called thermoluminescence. Thermoluminescence? Yeah, it is a process to determine when the porcelain was fired. Like in a burning vehicle, you mean? Oh, fuck me. You mean? I don't know. You tell me. Oh my god. If the forgery was retrieved from the van after the accident, it would have been indiscernible from the original. After the accident? It was no accident, was it? That must have been part of past plan. Come on, let's get out of here. Where are we going? To pause. He's gonna regret this. I won't let him get away with it. Beating up with so well profit. Well, it's a start. Matt. Matt, you're not serious. Right. Shit. 
The auction guy, Jeffrey Lee, strangled. He had access to the bomb right after the expert on stage had it. And before we stole it. It could be him. That's him. What's his number? Hang on. That's threatening. Hi, I'm I'm so sorry to call so late, but I'm trying to get hold of Sebastian. Is he home? It's Jane? No, from work. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, of course. I'll visit him first thing. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? He's in St. Thomas's hospital. How is he? He got beaten up, remember? Is he okay? Pretty serious concussion. Did you do that? No, I didn't do that. Jeff getting his kicks. As you can see. Um, I thought you had some party to go to. Some bet for a grand. Why do you think I'm back here doing an extra shift? Oh, I'm sorry you got involved. I'm sorry you did. I'm sorry, but we are in a bit of a hurry, darling. Could you tell us which room Sebastian the clerk is in, please? Is he here? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, come on. It's just a room number. Look, I know you wanted to help me out tonight, but I can't give you any information about that patient. So he's here. Oh, fuck, I shouldn't have even told you that. Come on, Matt. Let's try the other. Wait. Shit. No? She can't tell you anything because he was brought in by the police. She won't be able to tell you he's on the seventh floor, and she certainly won't be able to tell you he's in room 703. What? I didn't tell you anything. So, um, where's the girl? Oh, I know from work. She works here? No, my work. Her boyfriend parks his car there. I see. So jealousy I'm detecting. Oh, you wish. They won't let me use the internet. Oh, my God. I know. You must be, like, 80, right? No, no, no. I think I just worked out how Paul got the bowl out of the auction house. What? Come on. in rice bowl with a forgery. That's a lie. Do you want to discuss that with the police, mate? Perhaps have a little gander at the surveillance footage with them. They have already seen the footage. Of the robbery, maybe. 
What about the footage of you after you left the main auction room? Oh, where? <laughs> Backstage. <laughs> you don't know nothing. You do not scare me. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> and it's just a matter of time until the choice will find you. <laughs> I know what you did, Sebastian. Past cabinet. One he bought right before the bowl was auctioned. On the secret compartment. Yeah, that's right. Perfect place to hide a poor magazine. Forgery was hidden inside right before the auction, wasn't it? And then afterwards, you swapped it for the original. You're the only one who could have done it, Sebastian. The only one. Peter, what do you want? What do you want from me? Where is the original? Does Paul have it? If... If I tell you... You have to promise me not to tell anyone about me. You're kidding. You're in this as deep as we are, mate. If you don't promise, I will tell you nothing. We'll see. Alright, boy. Okay. Just you and me now, mate. Now, where is the fucking rice bowl? It's the last time I'm going to ask you nicely. Okay. Okay. I swapped the original with the forgery, and I hid it. In the end compartment, right? Yes. Is that where it is? It's supposed to be so... I don't know when this is the truth. The security took everything after the robbery and put it in the safe storage. Safe storage? So it's still inside Hainsworth's? Yes. We have to go back to Ainsworth. Why the hell do we get inside? I don't know. But he does. Will this get us into the vault? If you get to it, we... What the fuck happened? We had her. Can you find a bomb? Bring it to us. Who the fuck is this? Bring you to the lobby of our hotel by 9 tomorrow morning. Or the girl dies. Hello. Oh, shit.
Fuck it, they've cancelled his card. Doors closing. Going up? Yeah. Let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. <sighs> Wait here. Going down? Yeah, thank you. Ground floor? Yes, please. How the hell am I going to find Van 7 from out here? Suggestions. We need to get part of it. Salsi. Salsi, no. No, don't go wrong. Wei Ling. Fuck. What do I do? Do I risk going to Pa's house to get us both out of this? Or do I take it to the choice? Now's my chance. No. I can't leave her to die. How could I live with that? I just need some kind of plan. Yeah, I got it. Bring it to us. No, not you, mate. I want to speak to the chief psycho.
morning. I have an appointment with Samuel Pa. Oh, Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. Oh, he want to see me. And I want to see me right now. Wait here. Wait, you can't. Mr. Parr? Uh, thank you, well, I... I'll deal with this. Who are you? I'm here to tell you that unfortunately Mr. LeClerc failed to carry out his task. What the hell are you talking about? Well, the bomb that was taken from Hainsworth tonight was a real one. Audrey never left that compartment. Where is it? Where is it? Catch. Don't worry. Just a copy. You don't think it'd be so stupid to come in here with a real one, do you? Where's the original? Mailing has it. What does she want? I don't know. Ask her. Clever little girl, aren't you? Not just a pretty face. We did just a little deal. How much? Half the selling price. 4.5 million. I'd consider keeping the copy for that. Then I might consider telling the choice. You fucking little bitch. Don't get on your high horse, Samuel. You tried to kill us all in that car crash. And what about your bimbo? Bimbo? <laughs> He's going to watch you transfer the money into my bank account. Then he's going to walk out of there and bring you the original. It's done? It's done. Now get me my original. Okay. My friend is going to fetch it for you right now. What the hell? Mate, he knows. Are you outside the house? Mate, get out of there now. The bomb that Paul tried to steal from you. This is yours. It's got nothing more to do with this, all right? Uh, just. just wait! My name! Help me! Please! What are you going to do with it? Discuss the nature of Chinese heritage. Chances. What are the chances? That's what I say.